Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Von Dell, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the 3D features in the latest update to Adobe Illustrator. My friend Oni over on Discord brought up just how cool and easy this technique is. I was playing around with it and figured I needed to make a video on it. Before we get started, just gotta say, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means so much that the work that I'm doing on screen helps you with your design process. And if you're following along with me on screen or using some of the assets that I sell over on Etsy, make sure to check out our Discord server. We have an amazing creative community made up of artists, producers, designers over there sharing their latest works in progress, their memes, their music, free resources. It's an awesome place to check out and get inspiration. Let's take a moment really quick to check out what everybody's been working on lately. As always, you guys are crushing it. I'm so thankful that every day I can check out this amazing community, see what everybody's been up to, and if I haven't talked to you over there yet, I hope to talk to you there soon. If you wanna support my channel and get yourself some really cool merchandise and graphic design assets, make sure to hop on my Etsy. I have pins, patches, t-shirts, hats, a variety of holographic stickers, and of course, graphic design templates that will make your workflow a breeze. You can also head over to my Patreon and get instant access to my digital design library. I scan and upload graphics from various design books from my personal collection, and I even include a few free vector kits. You can access all of this for just $1 a month. Let's take a moment to shout out the higher tier patrons who make my videos possible. I appreciate your support. And finally, if you like my intro and outro background music, I create it all. Just search Cody Von Dell on Spotify or your preferred streaming service, and you can also find me on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Von Dell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. With all that being said, let's hop on screen and start playing around with these 3D features in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so here are a bunch of characters that I created using my Y2K mascot maker. Um, I recently started an Instagram where I'm posting a character daily, so make sure to check that out. It's called Googieverse named after my little mascot guy. Um, so for today's technique, I'm gonna select a few of these little characters. I think uh, this little group of aliens over here would be perfect. Um, just gotta group them all together really quick. And uh, right now they're kind of in a column. I think I'm gonna pair them off really quick in a brand new Illustrator document. So we'll bring these uh, characters right over there. They're all nice and grouped up. Perfect. We'll just grab all those bad boys and right here in a brand new document, drop them right in. Let's pair them off. And uh, these two always feel like they're related somehow. So we're gonna keep them paired up. And then I think the orange character and green character look great. So now we'll just get, make sure everybody's, uh, you know, evenly, uh, evenly placed. That all looks really good. These guys look good here. And these two, a little bit off, perfect. Now we'll group these so that everything's together. And we will go to our 3D and materials. All right, now that we have this uh, tab open, you can kind of see what we're gonna be playing with and that is the inflate option. All right, so um, basic settings don't look too great, but we'll just uh, do some adjusting and play around with things. All right, so let's go ahead and play with our materials. We'll come down here to our base properties. Let's pump up that metallic feature. Let's try it 100% just see what it looks like. 
Okay, that is uh, way too much. So let's maybe bring it down 60 to 70, 0.6 to 0.7%. I think that ought to look cool. Yeah, that's much better. Now we can adjust our roughness just a bit. Oh, cool. Now they almost have like a silicone kind of look. Yeah, I really like this. This, uh, this is starting to look cool. All right, and then we can go around in our lighting tab and just play around with uh, different settings here, the intensity, rotation, all that stuff. All right, and then, uh, you know, we might just play around with like just the preset lighting. I think it looks good right now, but you know, why not just try see what things look like. So yeah, turning that softness down. This actually looks pretty fun. Turn the roughness up just a little bit. Might be a little much, but it kind of works. All right, so we've got all of these together. We might bring them over into Photoshop and give them a quick little kind of uh, treatment and might call that a uh, finished product. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and drop them in here. And go ahead and create a background layer back here. And we will copy these two layers. And give it that color half tone, max radius of 5%. When we zoom in here, we're gonna get some uh, serious detail. We could probably turn it down just a tiny bit. 50% and uh, or even 35. All right, that's actually looking really cool. Check out those details. We got this new Illustrator 3D feature mixed with the uh, halftone overlay in Photoshop. That looks great. All right, so we're gonna play around a little bit with the text here in uh, Illustrator. Um, this looks a little wild, but uh, just kind of taking a look at some of the different materials and stuff that they have to use. Um, this gold doesn't look too, too bad. I think there are some other ones that might look cool too. Um, not that one, I don't think. Um, that one looks pretty cool, almost like a marble texture, but it still sort of has that like silicone kind of look. So I, I really like that, that's pretty cool. Alternative version of that. You're giving me like a Sega Saturn vibes or something, um, pretty cool. Let's play with the uh, metallic and roughness on just the front layer and not the uh, like the extra parts all the icons and stuff. I think we need to have that roughness somewhere, somewhere right there, I think is feeling the best to me. Um, but this is all personal preference, you know, just whatever you're feeling. I think for me having the, uh, I don't know, that looks all right too. You know, just kind of playing around with it, seeing what all, what different ways we can take this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is so much different than, uh, you know, I've been using Illustrator for well over a decade. To think that it has features like this now is just really wild. It's having these abilities uh, right here in Illustrator, it's pretty powerful and looks pretty cool. So those are the 3D features in the latest update on Adobe Illustrator. I think they look really cool on characters and text. It's very simple, very easy. So I think it's gonna come in handy for everybody. That wraps us up for today. But before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content planned that you don't wanna miss out on. And if you wanna check out some of my recent work, I just did a brand new episode of Fix Your Designs where I take your submissions from my Discord server, I touch them up on screen, and if you'd like to be featured on an upcoming episode, make sure to hop on the server and post your work in the Fix My Design channel. I just did a video breaking down my step-by-step -step process on creating Y2K logos. Check that out for an in-depth look at my process. And I recently made a brand new episode in the best free Y2K font series, so go check that one out. That wraps us up for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you on my Discord, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you all.